Hi again, welcome to another video. In front of us today we have my Land Rover TD5 110 2005 model and it's MOT day. So I've got it out from it being tucked right back behind everything else. So I've just removed everything out. Uh, starting a warm up bit in there to be across the screen. Uh, you can see how cold it's been and the ice on the starting to just defrost now but all that ice on there has been cold i don't use it that much um so it does um sit back in front of a shed and i get out when i need to tow the trailer or if we get snow or anything which isn't very often but there's a few jobs i've got to do because it's so cold the washers you might be like there they seem to be trying to work but not quite uh, I think they're frozen, so I'm going to pour some hot water over them to see if I can sort out that. Laura's sight is terrible. She's just, yeah, shame on Laura here. Look at the mess of that. So that's got to be tidied up. And I've got to check through the lights. I don't think there'll be too much on with it. Past okay, well, flying colours last year, so we'll have to, we'll have to see. So we have Laura tidying out. You've cleared up your mess down there. I'll show them that, Laura. <laughs> Oh, that's said, what you decide is a bit, you chuckle. I said, shame on Laura. Uh, but she's made a good job in there, tidying it all up in there, wiping it down. So that's not bad in there. I have got a few issues. One is press the washer. Oh, it's getting me. Stop. Don't know how you caught that. I'll go around the other side. Do that again. Only one is working. I think they were frozen but i can't understand once it's got to that point i would have thought they both would have squared out i've put something through the little nozzle bit and yeah it, it's not working uh so i'll carry on with that for a little while to see if i can sort that the door was another issue i forgot about the doors never shut very well and i have got to shut and reasonable now i have got a new catch for it but it's working it's shut that's good enough. Well, I said it wasn't that important because it's only if I fall out, isn't it? <laughs> well, whatever you say. I never said it. You did. I didn't. Stop right. So, at least I've sorted that. I haven't checked all the lights yet, but I'll do that soon. I'm going to check the oil. Uh, I do check it quite often anyway because these you tend to use a little bit. Uh, I filled up that with screen wash and it is all free as you just seen, but it's just a bit irritating. It's only working out the one. So, yeah, we'll have to see how we go with that. And I've noticed my wiper blades aren't brilliant. So I'll see if I've got a couple where I can just use the refill bits off. So I'll show you when we get a little bit further along and try to get these little issues sorted. I've sorted the washers now. They're both coming out. I think it was just some ice in there. Press it, Laura. So they're both working. Do it again, because the lorry was loud. So that's another job done. The wiper blades have all been replaced now. The old ones are split on the end. So yeah, they need to be done. So I've done them. I'll just show you them working and I'll show you the washers working again. You can see it's coming out of both nozzles now. So everything's all good there. So now them little jobs are done, I'm gonna check the oil, I'm gonna check the coolant, I'm gonna check the lights, and then I'll leave it at that, and then just see how it how it goes. Laura's washing it. It wasn't that dirty, just had a few sort of mud splatters along the side. So it just looks that little bit nicer, just totally clean. And then, yeah, we'll just take the MOT at two o'clock and just see how it goes. And hopefully it passes. If it doesn't, um, it's something I don't know about, so I'll have to fix it and then take it back. You get, I think, 10 days to go back. To get it retested if you leave it longer than that you have to pay for another test again and i'm not quite sure how much this one is because it's class seven so it's a bit um more expensive than the normal car one but yeah i've sorted out a few of the issues so it's not going to fail on them so we'll just go and see what laura's doing outside and then yeah we're gonna have some lunch and then we'll head off to the mot station and yeah see how it goes how you getting on it's cold it's cold, cold and very green. Very it's more sort of algae on it than anything else. There but is. Uh, I don't clean any higher than I can see, so it's going to be clean <laughs> up to about here. You see the mud splatters there? It'll just look that little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. Uh, it sits around too long, and that's why it gets it gets green. But it's not bad, not a bad old wagon. <laughs> and yeah, I'll get. Get it swilled off. I'm just going to get a watering can. I think I don't think I'll get the pressure washer out today. 
So I'll do that now and then, yeah, we'll be ready to take it. The Land Rover's been dropped off to the MIT station. They said it'd be about an hour, so we're going on a dog walk. I know my way around here, so I know it'll take about an hour. I did do a few more other little jobs on the Land Rover. I freed the side steps. Um, they're like spring-loaded ones that fold up, and they've always been seized since I uh, bought the Land Rover. But it never come up on an MOT since I've had it. But I did look through the old ones, because you can look through the history online, and it was an advisory on one of them, so I thought, it's nice if they fold up anyway. They shouldn't be down all the time. So they fold up nicely now. Uh, I used the impact just to turn the bolt around. It was pretty rusted in there, and I used a big impact. And then as I was spinning it, I fed it with some WD-40, and they're nice and free now. Uh, all the lights are all okay. I'll give it a real good rev out because um, it sits a long time and it's a diesel and they, the diesel engines need to work hard and I don't really work it hard, not very often. So it uh, was quite a lot of black smoke, but then that cleared and it was quite clear then. So yeah, that's all it needed, I think. It does need a service as well. It will be a job I will be doing uh, in the next month or so. I've got all the bits which I bought for my blue um, 90 Defender, but they're all the same, same engine. So I might as well use them parts on this one at the moment, because this is the one that's on the road. It does need a service. So that'll be a video coming up. Uh, and yeah, that's about it really. We're just gonna go on this walk and then I'll be back with you after that to see if it passes or not. Hope it does, <laughs> but um, yeah. If it doesn't, I'll have to sort it. So what we're gonna do now is go back to the MOT station. It's five minutes away. So I'll see you uh, when we're back in the Land Rover and I'll let you know whether it passed or failed. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it passed. Saves me a lot of hassle doing little jobs, but we'll only know when we get back there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. It's a couple of days on now. I didn't film any more on the day of the MOT because we got chatting and then it got dark and it was getting cold. I just wanted to get home. Uh, but um, did it pass? Did it fail? No, you wanna know? It failed. Um, not horrendously. It failed on a little uh, ball joint, well, some steering ball joint cover, dust cover. It failed on that, so that's a small thing. And it failed on all the brakes um, all, all round in these discs and pads. It failed on the brake pads are too big for the discs. Um, last year and the year before, I took a different place then and they kind of noticed it. But this year, yeah, it got noticed. And I took the front disc off already because i need to see what is wrong is it the disc too small or the pads too big um yeah i'm not really quite sure what was going on so i wanted to take the disc off so i can measure it i had trouble um one of the bolt heads on the caliper to hold the caliper on rounded off so i bought this little kit absolutely brilliant it was really good i'll just show you one you can see it in there, it's like that. And then it's got little pieces in the grips and it worked a treat, it really did work good. So that little kit from, well, in the UK, from a shop called um, Screw Fix, it was 17 pound and you get that lot in there. And what sizes are they? You get a half inch 13 mil, 15, 32, uh, that's 12 mil. 7 16th 11 mil, 3 8 10 mil, and a 9 16th 14 mil. Brilliant little kit, and for the money, 17 pounds. It's a bargain, I think. So that worked brilliantly. So I had to rush a bit to get the parts off one side just so I could measure up and make sure what I was ordering was correct. So um, I can get them ordered now. And I've got quite a busy week coming up this week. I won't be able to get back on this till the end of the week. Um, and I'll probably have to wait two or three days for the parts to come anyway. But if I don't have any other mishaps like bolts, I can't get out. It should be pretty easy to do. And I've just got to do that um, dust cover as well. And that's all. And then I can take it back and everything should be good. I get 10 working days to take it back. So uh, I've got quite a while should be done easy in time so um yeah it could have been a lot worse the brakes i've looked and by what i've seen they needed doing so yeah that's the reason for mot's they pick up on things i wasn't aware of so when they're all done this should be good for a good few years because i don't use it that much so the brakes should last a long time uh and yeah i'll leave the video there so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'll be along with another video again soon so bye for now